Oke, okay. double click. Oke, okay, this is the wizard for Mac Simple Grid. We have input data, geometry, tartan grid. And in input data, we have skeleton only. Or if we have the available surfaces, we can also use insert surface. Okay. And then we can get the surface using this control buttons. But we will use skeleton only. We will start very simple. And the grid, you can call 3D grid. And also, yeah, you can name it as per you, your preference. Okay, and then I will maintain the 3D grid. And then for the top limit, okay, the skeleton for top limit, it will be constant the constant surface or constant elevation, all right? It will be flat, okay? And also the base limit, also constant. It will be flat. And the Z value will be minus 1000. Minus means we, we go down, okay? Vertically, we go down. That's, uh, that's the significance of the symbol minus, okay? minus 1000 that's our top limit and for the base limit i will use minus 1100 so it means that the distance between the top and the base will be 100 meter okay 100 meters or also you can say that the thickness of our model is 100 meter remember we are using metric system here and uh, the length will be in meter. Okay, so minus 1000 and minus 1100. Now from input data, we go to geometry. Now we have X, mi X minimum, Y minimum, X maximum, and also Y maximum. I will make it like this. So the center point will be 0, 0,0. So X min, it means that I go to the left, for example, to the left, about, not about, at 500 meters. Okay, that's go to the left, and then X max, I go positive 500. So the length between X minimum and X maximum will be 1000 meter, or one kilometer, okay? That's the size, the X direction size of my model, 1000 meter, one kilometer, minus 500 to the left and positive 500 to the right. And for the Y minimum and Y maximum, it's north and south, okay? So to the south, minus 500, and to the north, 500. So again, the distance between Y minimum and Y maximum is 1000 meters or one kilometer. Okay, so the width will be 1000 and the height will be 1000. The thickness of the model is 100 meters. Okay, and then for the grid increment, we will maintain the 50. Okay, the increment between each X, uh, X unit, okay. 500, 550, and then 600, and so on and so forth. Okay, or, or I mean, because we don't have 600 here, so it means that 0, 50, all right, and then 100, 150, and so on and so forth. Tartan grid, hopefully we can cover this one. This is also very important and interesting. All right, we go back to geometry. Looks okay. Click apply. Okay. All right. Now we go to window here, still in home. Window. We can see 2D map or 2D window. And then we go to, yeah. Here we are still in processes. Now, because I want to show the window to the window, we go to models. It means we, are, we will go to our created model that we have created, okay? 
And you can see this is our model, the new model. Open, you see our 3D grid, okay? Because the, the name of our model is 3D grid. Open again, and you can see the skeleton of our model, the faults within our model, the horizon, and then the edges, intersections, right? Everything owned by our model, okay? Everything that describes the, the model that we created. Okay, and the name of our model is 3D Grid. Now I want to show the 2D window. I have the skeleton. Okay, I select the skeleton. You can see the skeleton in two-dimensional view. Okay, 